Hey guys, what's going on? And gals. So you have a shark ion robot and it's not quite working right. Say it's got some air lights, say in sensors, cliff sensors or charging sensors or it's not finding the dock. Well, today I'm going to show you all how to clean the sensors on these robots. So stay with me. Let's go up here. And I'm going to show you all how to clean these sensors perfectly. So, you're going to need a paper towel, some 91. I have 70 here, but it's actually got 91% in it because this bottle ran out and it's smaller, easier to carry. But 91% isopropyl alcohol and some Q-tips. That's all you're going to need. Windex will work for this, but I prefer to use the isopropyl alcohol because you can put it on and it dries a lot quicker so less chance of damage on any electronic components so as always first thing make sure your robot is turned off we're going to start with the charger so get you a piece of paper towel out let me come around y'all we're going to go ahead and splash a little on this rag you know just a little bit and we're going to wipe this whole sensor this shiny black surface is the sensor with eyes behind it for the robot to pick up and dock home. We're just going to clean that up really well. And that should be good to go. If multiple robots can't find the charger after doing that, it's time for a new charger. The sensors have gone bad in that unit. Go ahead and put that down there. Now we'll grab this robot. Now, let me move the camera a little bit for y'all. So here we have a little black shiny strip just like we have on the charging base. Again, a little bit of rubbing alcohol. And we're gonna clean that really well. I'm also gonna clean the top of our robot while we're at it because it's nice and dusty. So that cleans your charging uh, sensor. So th these, well, not charging sensors home sensors so these are your uh, home indicators and object indicators and boundaries depending on what robot you have so we cleaned that but what if dirt got on the inside of this if you look at the right side of your robot always remember when you're talking about robots robot faces forward just like you are right sides right left sides left there's a little notch on the right side you'll need a flathead for this let me grab one Yeah, it's not flathead, but it'll work. Um, so you grab a screwdriver, and you're going to pop this out. This pops out real gentle. And inside here, you have lasers and sensors, and all these need to be cleaned. And you're going to be like, well, how do I do that? Get you some Q-tips. Put some rubbing alcohol on them. You can go sensor by sensor, all the way around. Don't worry, it won't hurt it. We're using that rubbing alcohol for a reason. Windex would hurt this, so just be aware. Remove the battery. Let it dry thorough. So we're gonna clean all these sensors off. Should we do a good, good job? So you got um, boundary sensors. Well, you got. Charging, uh, home docking um, sensors, you got object sensors to, for when it slows down, proximity sw switches and all that stuff. Um, so once we clean those, we're gonna go ahead and pop our face back on. Make sure you clean underneath here. It does get pretty dirty over time. So if you've never cleaned yours and you're watching this video, make sure you clean it. So we're just gonna go ahead and line up one side of it and it'll pop right in. kind of hard to do this on the side well videotaping so just get it half halfway on and then you can come back through with your fingers and pop all the tabs on all right there we go all right that's good enough for now now under here on the bottom of the robot Two front cliff sensors, two side cliff sensors. We're gonna take, again, the towel or the Q-tips. Q-tips work better for this, but 
I'm trying to show you all the best I can. And we're gonna rub those down with that rubbing alcohol real good. And then there's two on the side. One right here and one right there. And those are object detection sensors and the, I think they also have a home sensor in there as well. And now for our final sensor, we're just gonna clean the terminals, which isn't really a sensor, it's just a terminal. We're gonna clean the terminals for the charger. That way we know for a fact that it's making good contact. All right guys, that's all the sensors and how to clean them. There is a button sensor back here for the bin. This little switch back here is just, all it is is a switch. So when it's in, the basket's in, when it's not, it's out. And if this isn't working, you either need to replace it or your bin locking uh, button isn't working. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If this helped you, please leave a like and a comment if you have any questions.